What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out here on the water today and it is absolutely beautiful. It's nice and cloudy, it's warm, it's like 62 degrees right now. It's supposed to warm up to 70. So hopefully these fish absolutely chew. We are out on a lake today that we have not fished in over a year. And one thing about it is the water is absolute chocolate milk. Now, I, I don't know if y'all can tell how muddy it is. I mean, look at it. Straight chocolate, straight chocolate. Something else, it's very, very low. Um, for as much rain as we've had, it's really low, which this is a lake that they, you know, kind of regulate the, the level zone and it rises and lowers, you know, pretty often, but it's pretty doggone low, as y'all can see from the bank right here. But even though we have very, very muddy conditions, which everywhere around here is muddy right now, uh, because we've had so much rain, I think we're gonna catch some fish today. Hopefully these fish are gonna be pushed up in the pockets off the main lake. Looks like we have water temps of 51 and a half degrees, which is really good. I'm hoping we can get on maybe a spinnerbait, chatterbait, and maybe a crankbait bite, and maybe we can catch some big ones because there are some really big fish in here, and hopefully we can make some bite. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run up the lake. We're gonna see if we can uh, start off in a pocket, and we're gonna fish all the way up in, and we're kinda gonna gauge what we do in there, and then we're gonna make a decision on how we're gonna fish the rest of the day. So we're right here at almost 10 o'clock. We have about six-ish hours to fish, and hopefully we catch some big ones. So we're gonna set a goal today of 12 pounds. Let's see if we can put 12 pounds on the bubble scale today. And uh, I'll be pretty excited if we do that. So let's go ahead, let's get to the first spot. Let's see if we can catch a bag. All righty y'all. We have gotten to our first spot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fish uh, this creek and we're gonna work our way in. We have water temps of 51.9. So really, really good water temps. Basically what we have is we have a creek right here off of the main lake that goes in. It has a good kind of sloping left bank. And a lot of times these fish will push up in this pocket to spawn. So like I said, really good water temps. Uh, you know, we're right here kind of in this pre-spawn phase or getting in this pre-spawn phase. We're right here at the beginning of March and we have, you know, the water looks super, super muddy, but it's really not that, that bad. Probably, let's see. Let's see with the old spinnerbait, what kind of, I mean, honestly, we have probably, I would say maybe a foot maybe a visibility definitely not a ton but i mean enough definitely enough so there are some big fish in here we're going to start off with the first gen this is a half ounce first gen spinnerbait they are linked in the description below but had this really bright chartreuse and white and then has this gold blade and one you know really cool thing that i like about these spinnerbaits is you can see the blades are like half painted so it really throws a different flash in the water, gives these fish a little different look. And this spinnerbait has a willow leaf on it, but it has a really good thump to it. Really good hard thump. And hopefully we can attract some bass to absolutely eat this thing. Throwing it on a six foot, 10 inch, medium heavy. This is a custom light spinnerbait rod and 15 pound test P-Line C21. And I'm also throwing this on a slow gear ratio reel, which is a five, six to one. I really like a slow gear ratio reel. When I'm fishing in the colder, well, I mean, I fish a spinnerbait on it year round, but especially in the colder months, it's way important because to me, I can really, really reel that thing slow and kind of just keep it in the strike zone a little bit longer. And I think these fish are gonna be up here feeding. I honestly do. A lot of times, like right here, you know, you got, we just came from the mouth and it comes and this turns out right here. A lot of times those fish that are pushing in, like those very first fish, they will stop right here in that first little bend or on that first point, like right here in front of us. They'll stop there and just stage. So hopefully we'll have some, some fish kind of piled up right here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. 
Got a little grass there. Coming through a lot of grass. There's one, there's one on the spinnerbait. Feels like a pretty good one too. There we go. Yeah, all right. Oh, chunk right there. Hey, I will take that. Yes, on the spinnerbait. On the spinnerbait. So we got number one in the boat. And as I said, we were coming right up on this point right here. He was actually up in the hydrilla. We're gonna back up a little bit. I don't wanna blow up on it, but perfect. That's a chunk. Definitely don't want him to be in our uh, best five. Hopefully we can get five today, but we're gonna, we're gonna back up just a touch. I'm gonna get that bubble scale out right here. And I don't know if y'all can see this right here. I know y'all can actually, but this is a really cool uh, bubble scale holder that my buddies at One Objective make. And I actually make the straps for them, uh, for them. but it's a really cool deal. It keeps your bubble scale right there in the perfect spot out of the way. You always know where it is. So I'm gonna have that linked in the description below. What do we got for fish number one? One pound, 14 ounces. One pound, 14 ounces. All right, 114. So the way this thing works is it just goes in, you push it in this way and you just turn it and it literally just locks right there. So pretty cool deal but anyway first fish 114 on the spinnerbait thank you bud got him on that first gen spinnerbait nice 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 up there fairly shallow that was good hopefully it's some more up there with him what do we got we got our line right around our our tip there we go Well, I was hoping we would run into something back here, but we did not. Definitely some bait back here, but I'm not seeing a ton of activity from fish, like cutting and blowing up on the bait or anything like that. So it's a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping with these water temps, we might could like really, really smash them. And later in the day, you know, they might push up in here, but right now they're just not in here good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick up the trolling motor and we're just gonna idle, kind of out of this shallower stuff, get back more into, I don't wanna say deeper water, but where it's a little bit deeper. Let's see if we put that spinnerbait back to work. All right, y'all. Just came up, worked back up to this uh, to this point, lead now. And this side has a lot of like really good gravel. So maybe that will be the key to success. This side has less hydrilla or less topped out hydrilla anyway. So maybe they'll be stacked up on this side. See if we can get one. There we go. That's a good one too, right here on this point. On the spinnerbait, yep. Right where it should have been. Thank you, buddy. All right. All right, he choked it too. Up here on this point. 
up, up there on that wood. So I guess we're just gonna fish Main Lake Points because that's a dang pretty one right there. Y'all check that one out. Let's get this right here back out. It's been about probably an hour and a half since I caught that first fish and I just picked the spinnerbait back up. We literally had just come around that corner and I just picked the spinnerbait back up. He is a 2.9, 210, 210. Put him in spot number two. Confirm. All right, 210. Good deal. There we go right there, 210. It's slow, but we're working on them. We're working on them. Thank you, buddy. Right up on this point. I mean, he loaded up on it good. Got that first gen spinnerbait. I just, I think that's the second cast. I just picked it back up. These fish are just pushing back into this pocket. They're just starting to work their way back. It's up there on a piece of wood. Nice. All right, we're gonna throw one more cast right here. And then we're gonna work our way back down the lake or up the lake, I should say. I always say down, but up the lake, back up towards the dam. We're gonna go to another mouth of a pocket. See if we can catch a fish there. I was really hoping that we would get one along that kind of really chunk rock bank right there, but just didn't get bit, so I don't know. Don't know. I'm definitely gonna throw the crankbait some more throughout the day, but right now the spinnerbait is definitely the, the main player for us. gonna go to it was a guy sitting on it so we came over here to this point big chunk rock point it's really really deep on this point so we're gonna throw the jig on it and if we don't do anything on this we're gonna I don't know what we're gonna do we're gonna make a decision and figure out uh, figure out something but right now we are Struggling, struggling, but we're gonna throw the uh, the black and blue jig right here. That Strike King finesse jig. We're gonna throw that bad boy. And I tell you, this uh, this watercolor is is it's actually gotten worse throughout the day. It's pretty bad, but. I do know that the grass comes out pretty far off this point this way, but I'm not 100% sure how far it comes. So I don't, I might have just thrown up in it. I don't feel any. So maybe not. There's one. There's one on the spinnerbait, baby. Like a little rock pile right there. Get in here. Well, not as big as we want, but I will take him. I will take him. That was fun. That was fun. On the spinnerbait, another one. And he's a little dinker, but. Hey, I'm not complaining. We might just keep going down this shoreline, but he was right on the edge, this back edge of this point right here. Let's see what he weighs. He ain't gonna be much, maybe a pound and a half.
maybe a pound and a half. We could definitely got to get bigger fish, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it right now. Yep, one pound, 10 ounces locked in at 110, position three. All right. Thank you, bud. There we go. On the spinnerbait. All right. Well, it had been quite a while without a without a bite, and I'm gonna tell you what, that felt good. I mean, we're only up here. You know, it's very shallow up here um, on this little edge of this flat right here. But we're gonna keep working down and see see if we can get bit. I might just. I might just take this tail off and like do like a fluke style trailer or something. Get rid of the paddle tail. Whenever you use like a paddle tail, it makes the spinnerbait ride higher in the water column. This is just a little tip. It rides higher in the water column if you use a paddle tail because it's more resistance and it has more lift. So if you have just a fluke style trailer or something like that, it helps it get down a little bit further, a little bit less resistance. So I think I might just let it ride like this for now. Got a little side of a point right here too. Coming up on a little edge, got some rock and all. Then we're just gonna work down this side. Just kind of work down the lake and just and just fish. Just throw the spinner bait. Let it do its magic. See if we can pick up a big one. Oh, just lost him. My line just wrapped all around my tip. That was 100% a bite. 100% a bite. Got him. Good one too. Yep. I knew that was a bite. Nice fish. It might be more than just might be more than one up there too oh yeah get in here all right i was like i know that was a bite no that was a bite got him on that old first gen let's see see what this sucker weighs i mean he was right up there on some rock it's rock is everything right now shallow rock is is what it what they're uh what they're on like I said, I got bit the cast right before that. Two, three. Locked in. All right. Thank you, buddy. Pretty daggone fish. Pretty one. All right. Good deal. Good deal. Still up there. See if we can get another one to bite because I mean that was like back to back bites and it could have very well been the same fish. It most likely was, but we're gonna double check. Just to be sure. Come on, number five. Come on, baby. Let's get us some number five. Hopefully it's a darn big one too. Get us an absolute tank. Looks like this is pretty shallow right here. So hopefully we get one. Tell you what, let's throw the chatterbait. We can throw the chatterbait all day. Let's let's give that a valiant effort. 
See if we can get one to bite that. Got the old Thunder Cricket, black and blue. Just got a Strike King Rage swimmer back there behind it. See if we can get one to bite this thing. Chatterbait. There he is. Get in here. All right. Oh, spotted bass. Old oh, spotted bass. Oh, fat one too. Those things are so heavy. He ate that chatterbait. Darn, maybe I should have been throwing the chatterbait more. We'll zero it out, see what this dude weighs. Two, two. Add him in spot number five. So we have 10, seven with our best five right now. I forgot what I said our goal even was, but look how fat. <laughs> that spotted bass is. God, he smoked that chatterbait. Ooh, don't get me wet. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, maybe I should have been throwing this a little bit more. I don't know. He ain't throwing it long. He come up and hammered that thing, I mean. So one thing that I definitely noticed was when I got over here to this side where it's a lot cleaner and less hydrilla and more clean chunk rock, I started getting bit. There's another one. That's a little one. But, oh no, that's not that smaller one. It's actually an upgrade, I believe. But I started getting bit more. He bit it on cue. I mean, they, they're liking this. Thunder Cricket. I don't know what my smallest fish is. Right here on these points. Let's see what our smallest fish is. Uh, 110. He might. He might surpass 110. These spotted bass are so fat. Oh, yeah. Right, chill out, buddy. Chill out. Yep, he's a 113. Yep, 113. All right, now we got 10 pounds, 11 ounces. 10, 11. Here we go, thank you, buddy. But as I said, you know, once I got on this, this side and this cleaner, my bites definitely picked up. Cause I fished over on that other side for quite a while, quite a while and just did not get bit. And we have only been throwing the old Thunder Cricket for maybe about 10 minutes. And we done picked up two fish on it. So maybe this might have been the deal all along. And we were kind of just missing out on it a little bit. We were throwing a moving bait, but we weren't throwing the exact right thing in the exact right color. They might like this black and blue. All right, so we just jumped over here to another point. This is a very deep point, pretty deep anyway. And a little bit of grass matted up right here. We're gonna throw the old thunder chicken up there and see if we can get bit on this thing. 
the water temps have actually risen pretty good 54.2 54.2 degree water temps you know muddy water warms up so much faster than clear water like so much faster it's very surprising how fast it it actually warms up got a lot of loose grass right here just kind of floating around but really good chunk rock Let's see if we can get bit up here on it There we go. Oh yeah, that's a large mouth. Get in here. Nice one too. All right. Dad going if he didn't choke it. These fish are really biting this chatterbait good. Mm. He was not coming off. There we go. There we go. I think. That's another upgrade, I believe. <coughs> Ooh. See what our smallest fish is. Our smallest fish is 113. 113. Oh yeah. Two five. Two five. Alrighty. We're moving up, moving up, moving up. Thank you, bud. Pretty fish. Whew. That darn chatterbait is catching them. A well, thunder cricket, I should say. It's a, it's a thunder cricket, but man, that thing is getting bit. fish smoked it when he bit it just going down the side of this rock wall right here all right let's move to another point move to another point and if y'all notice i cut my live scope off i got tired of looking down there and seeing it and honestly it was throwing me off a little bit i knew what i wanted to do i knew how i wanted to catch them and it was throwing me off so one thing i figured out is a lot of times if i'm like fishing and i want to fish shallow that thing will throw me off if i leave it on so i cut it off just completely cut it off this might be perhaps the last spot of the day um, not guaranteeing that but it might be especially if we catch a good one because i really was only going to fish until 4 30 and it's 402 right now so yeah and this is like really deep leading up to this rock right here. It might be actually, might be too deep. I mean, it's 43 foot right here, but we're gonna, we're gonna give her a go and see if we can, see if we can do something. Let's see, let's see. I mean, it would be crazy not to pick up the, the old thunder cricket. work our way we're gonna work around this point like i said it's really really deep water temps have dropped down here too just really where they ran the water through the lake it's dropped these water temps pretty quick pretty quick and i don't love that i'm sure that has thrown these fish in a negative mood i'm sure and plus the sun you know it's gone down we're getting later in the afternoon so of course the 
the water temps are going to drop a little bit. But, as I said, the fish might not love that. Oh God, big fish. Oh yeah, nice bass. Yep, come here baby. I mean, you talk about smoking it. Get in here, oh yeah. That one might put us over the, the 12 pounds we wanted. Man, you talk about smoking it. Now that fish hit it and absolutely ran with it. I believe this is a three plus pounder right here. I believe my scale is about to die I need to put put new batteries in it but I believe this fish is over three. Ooh, 215 and that's going to replace a 114 now we have 12.4 I think I could be wrong but I think I said 12 pounds at the beginning of the trip i believe dang that's a nice fish i mean absolutely smoked that chatterbait off the front of these rocks right here thank you bud oh i was hoping he was gonna jump but man we have really kind of figured out what these suckers want he smoked that chatterbait god I tell y'all, that fish just, man, you talk about smoking a bait. That fish smoked it, <laughs> golly. That was a heck of a bite right there. I mean, he was not playing. That line was singing. I, I thought it was a bigger fish than that. My back GoPro is giving me problems, I swear. Keep saying my card isn't good, but my card is 100% perfect. There's another one. Good one too. That's a big one. Oh, he ain't as big as I thought. The way he was pulling, like head shaking. Oh, he is a darn nice one though. I mean, like the way he was pulling, it was just like dead weight. God, these fish's teeth are so sharp. I don't think that fish is gonna upgrade us. Let me see what, let me see what our smallest fish is. Two two, ah, I don't think this fish is over two two. I don't think. Not one fifteen. One fifteen. So, not an upgrade. But hey, I'll take it. Thank you, buddy. We have kind of dialed things in dialed him in a little bit. But I would like like a four pound largemouth or like a big old spot. Big old spotted bass. Oh, we got one. We got one. I don't, it don't feel like a big fish though. No, not a big fish. Not going to help us. Fun though. So healthy. Oh, that's a spotty bass. That's an old spot. He ain't no two pounder though. He's not a two pounder. These things will surprise you though. I bet that fish, 
I bet you that fish is a pound and a half, probably. I mean, they're so heavy. It's crazy how heavy they are. As a matter of fact, we're just gonna weigh him just to, just to do it, just to see what he weighs. Cause I mean, that fish is like 12 inches long. Anyway, he's a pound five. He's probably not even 12 inches long. Thank you, buddy. Woo they always want to get you wet when you throw them back. They always want to, they always want to get you. All right, y'all, as much as I hate to say it, this is gonna be the last cast right there. That is it. We ended up having a fun day. I'm gonna tell you what, it turned out a lot better than what I thought it was in the beginning because I was struggling in the beginning. But once I picked up this chatterbait, um, you know, kind of dialed things in a little bit, kind of figured out where they were at, you know, kind of on these rockier points and man, just ended up having a bunch of fun we're gonna throw one more for good luck but didn't get that four plus pounder that i wanted but hey it's all good you know i think we ended up with 11 i think 11 fish so not bad at all and got them on that you know the thunder cricket in black and blue and then also on that first gen that white and chartreuse spinnerbait so right there that thunder cricket like i said i got a amazon link to that below and then the mach 2 rods all the mock series stuff got a link down there for that and then the first gen that's the first gen uh spinner bait this is the half ounce that white and chartreuse really really cool spinner bait catches them good so like i said be sure to check out those links i appreciate y'all watching i'm gonna get this thing loaded up Got a little drive uh, to get home, so I appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Gunfish TV.